Hi, this is the Blumenfeld Boyakov and Falk Trap in the Laska variation of the Albin Counter Gambit, taken from a collaborative consultation game in 1899 in Moscow. The three players on the white side were Blumenfeld, Boyakov and Falk, and they were up against the great Emmanuel Laska. So, d4, d5, c4, the Queen's Gambit, but Laska went for his famous Albin Counter Gambit. After white took on e5, the d4 wedge, and the common mistake, e3, which can lead to the main line of the Lasker trap, which you can find in another video. Bishop b4 check, bishop d2 interposing, and Lasker ignores the bishop threat on b4, doesn't exchange bishops, rather, d takes e3. And now the three players realize that bishop takes on b4, might lead to ruin after e takes f2 check which is in fact the lasker trap so here they tried queen a4 check which is a good logical and sensible try hitting the bishop now twice on b4 but after knight c6 and bishop takes b4 winning that piece black wins anyway after queen h4 and now that pawn on f2 is in serious danger well in the game itself the three players tried knight e2 and after queen takes f2 they went on to lose but perhaps a more interesting line here is g3 hitting the queen and defending if you like f2 but black wins anyway after e takes f2 check king takes and queen d4 hitting the king and hitting b2. After the king retreats to e1, black wins with queen e4. Well, it would actually be a bad mistake to take on, uh, on b2, where white would do better after bishop c3, which seems to guard everything, and white would be up. But in the game then, queen e4 is going to pick up the rook on h1. Black's winning material, black is winning the game. So this has been the Blumenfeld, Boyakov and Falk trap in the Laska variation of the Albin Counter Gambit. Hope it was useful. Bye-bye.